This video is going to show you how to use vibrato in five minutes or less. This is starting right from the beginning, so these are just basic vibrato techniques on flute. Before we get into the how-to, let's first talk about what is vibrato. Vibrato are just simply extra pulses in the sound. It's the difference between where my airstream is really steady and consistent versus you hear those little shakes in the sound, those are vibrato pulses. Now, what makes those vibrato pulses happen? Well, it's simply just a fluctuation in your airstream. On flute, we just push more and less air while keeping a steady and consistent airstream. Let's look and see how this works. For step one in the process, what I want you to do is to just pick an easy note, whatever your favorite note is. We're gonna start with D, and I want you to just go hoo, hoo, hoo. No two before it, no ta, no attack, just hoo, hoo, hoo. Right, let's do that off the flute. Just like that, on the flute. In step two, we're gonna take these pulses and put them with an air string. So it's gonna sound a little bit more like the vibrato that you know. We're gonna start with that steady air stream, and then we put the pulses with it. In this way, the air stays all the way through. We never let it stop completely like we did in step one. So we keep that air going, and then we just put more air with it. It's gonna sound like this. Notice I'm not doing where the air completely stops. We keep it going. And then I just put some extra air on top of it. As you do this, it's a really good idea to practice this both on the flute and off of the flute so that you get the feel of the airstream and how it can vary and then put it on the flute. The most common issue with learning vibrato is that students stop the airstream. You must keep the airstream going and just fluctuate the amount of air. So we're going either more air or less air, but we never let it fully stop. Next, once you have that kind of started, you want to try and make these pulses as big as possible. So you want to make them exaggerated from ceiling to floor vibrato. So not where you can barely hear them, but we want really exaggerated. This should not sound good. We're not quite at that level yet. Again, I'm still not starting with the ta just to get this open airstream going, but I'm trying to exaggerate as much as possible where I go as far as I can with the airstream forward and then back it off without stopping the air. This more and less air is going to make the pitch fluctuate, and those are your vibrato pulses. Then C. Then B. If you can hear these pulses in the sound, you are using vibrato. Building a good vibrato tone takes time. I suggest starting with those basic exercises that we started with and just doing them on long notes. Um, on your, any of your long tone exercises would be good to do this with. Uh, I suggest doing the pitches in triplets. So we did them in groups of three, ha, 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 um, all the way through. And you wanna make sure that it's the airstream, not the throat, not the tongue, that's creating those pulses. Once you get really secure with this, then you can start working on putting more pulses and faster pulses. I just did th uh, six pulses per pitch, so two groups of three per note, just going down chromatically. All of this should be enough to get you started with vibrato in the most basic sense. Remember, you must keep the air steady while you're playing these vibrato pulses. You can't let the air completely stop or go so far beyond that you're cracking the notes. <laughs> 